Hello, welcome to Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin. And welcome to our podcast talk show. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> It's weird to be on this side. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I felt, felt, yeah. So I had, to, I just wanted to make sure I threw it in there. You know, I couldn't, couldn't oh, yeah. go without one, without. Oh, second, absolutely. So. The it's originator like, has to, yeah, 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 yeah. have to at least say, you know, totally makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. How was your week? You know, a great week. Uh, but uh, even had a had a really great weekend great as well. Great weekend for uh, sure. I think we even hung out. Yeah. On the weekend, we huh? We did. Huh. We did. It's kind of weird. I just We're totally it. normal. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We went camping, yes. which was fun. That was a lot of fun. That actually. was actually it was a great camp. Went by extremely quick, I'll tell you that. Almost too quick. Yeah. When yeah. I woke up Saturday morning, I'm like, man, this is it. Like, this, yeah, right. this is this, the day. This is the know day. Know I mean? yeah. and then... So I'm like, man, you know, and then. I forgot that sometimes Sunday, like, is actually more. We still hang out on Sundays. You know? Yeah, we so we, we, we do definitely like, still like get. I mean, you're still not leaving until like at least early afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, so I mean, it just yeah. I because the nice part is I drove last year, so I left literally left. Whenever, oh yeah, you can leave whenever. To. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so like, yep, it was yep. fine. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we all get together every year. Yeah. And uh, go camping for uh, what Friday night, Saturday night, and leave Sunday. Yeah. Man, it's a blast. It's so fun. It is. Uh, we got some. Some guys that definitely like to cook, oh. uh, so that, that's always uh, some pretty big meals, yes. and and actually almost every meal besides besides lunch, lunch is on your own. Which is, oh yeah, which but, makes but sense. there are so many snacks. Yes, and, I mean uh, so it's, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, so really, I guess you're not because even like when I had lunch on Saturday, I mean I I even had some some of the macaroni from Friday, and then oh uh, yeah, there you uh, go, and then I had some had something else from from Friday night. Yeah, so it's still you know what I mean. It's, it was fantastic, and yeah. it's really not a very expensive. Oh, and the weather was beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious! It was absolutely phenomenal. No, yeah, we did uh, receive some Morse code from some aliens. We did. I'm pretty we did. Sure. Um, Not sure what the message was. No, I have no idea. It's um, a little sporadic. Yeah, but, uh, I went there yeah. as Corey. I mean, <laughs> I went there. So, and you went there. Which I'm telling you what. Oh, we, we, we we've got to let Brian know about that movie too, because I was just talking to him a little bit ago about. He's like, hey, what movie were you guys talking about that you were watching? I'm like, Prisoners. But I also was telling him, because when we went to the light set, uh, Friday night, no. um, this weird blinking light looked yes. like it was out of a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You're kind of just waiting when the light turns on for somebody to just be like sitting there with yeah, a knife a or clown, a clown. Something, yeah. you know. Um, but no, nothing. Yeah. We we approached it. You gotta, you gotta. Yeah. Uh, I slept better that night. Take, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't have to fear the light yes. anymore. Um, but yeah, I, we, when we were walking back, I'm like, "Have you ever watched Coherence?" I'm like, "Dude, we watched it for the podcast, and it was just uh, who recommended that? It, it was it was actually Sean. Oh man, yeah. It, <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that was. I mean, because even to yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Yeah, because even the movie that we're going to discuss today was no. recommended yes. to me yeah. by Sean. So that's that's it's hilarious. But uh, what a phenomenal movie Coherence was. It just oh. brings that eeriness where you're like, you can almost like incorporate to anything. You know? Yes, it's insane. And think about like just as a normal day, just a like normal situation that you do all the time. Yeah. What if you came back to the wrong house? Yes. I'm just do. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. And how do you get back? To the exactly, right house. absolutely. Yeah, you, how do you? Because you don't know. Yeah, yeah, you have no, no idea. idea. What a what a phenomenal film. Yes, and it's almost like a uh, a bottle episode. As, well, uh, you yeah, know, because yeah. it's all like yeah. basically taking place in one house. Yeah. you know, yeah. one neighborhood. It's it's incredible. I think about think yeah, think about like the the shooting of that, the scene, the setup. Oh, you have a house. Yeah, that's, Ex- that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it's it had to have taken no time to film. Yeah, you know, what I mean. Oh, That's I just remember the dialogue from from them, like even just having dinner at the table was oh. just authentic. Like yeah, it felt it like, like they were actually having dinner, sure. actually yep. having conversations. Yep. Like it was excellent. I I really enjoyed that. So like all, all I could think of, you know, both nights with the light going off yeah, in the background because yeah. it was constant. It was just like you know the first night both of them were going. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure about the last night, but. But uh, it was just like awesome. Yeah. Uh oh, something's happening. Yeah. <laughs> the mothership's gonna come over the trees at any moment. You know, you never know. You never know. Maybe, maybe, maybe right now it is. Well, well it there. didn't because we're normal. Yes. <laughs> you, you're telling false tales. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That it was a lot of fun. Went too quick. But uh, yeah. yeah, it was a great time. It was a great time. No. 
Um, other than camping, uh, went, uh, not much. I mean, I, I mean, I know you probably watched them like Shark Tank or something. We definitely watched the <laughs> yeah. Shark Tank. I mean, definitely. What, I mean, what, what what was the best invention out of the Shark Tank that you that you saw? Oh man, that is, I don't know. Which, uh, you, what, which one stuck out in your head the most? Would you say the one that I saw that I really liked, which is blown up everywhere, is the hush blanket? I'm telling you, that thing is, looks pretty the sweet. Hush blanket? Yeah, you I don't even know what that one is. Uh, it's essentially it's a weighted blanket. But, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, this the the first time that I ever seen off all every shark in the entire show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was bidding and then going with each other and then like they. I, I love when contract. they're like, "Who wants to?" You know, or, or like two of them will start whispering together. Yeah. Like, uh, we have an offer. I'm like, oh man, imagine getting two sharks. Oh, that's you know? insane. That's crazy. Uh, there's only one product that got all five sharks to actually invest in. Okay, um, and it was a plug-in breathalyzer for the phone. Oh. But it fails because, like, first of all, it's like a novelty idea. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's only a specific market who really needs a breathalyzer. <laughs> so, like, you're kind of like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, w- what are you going to plug it into now? That's true. You're going to have to constantly be updating, uh, up- shorts, yeah, yeah, updating it to. You'd have to you make know, it like Bluetooth, Bluetooth or something. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and then at that point, everybody probably has a Bluetooth one, yeah. and, and and you're drowned out. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I could see it. Not at the time, I'm sure it was like this is revolutionary. Oh, a, yeah, but, absolutely, yeah. Um, but no, there there's this thing called the uh, the bug bite thing. So if you get like a mosquito bite or a a bee sting or yeah. something like that. Um, there's like certain insects that when they bite you or sting you, they have uh, uh, the saliva or liquid that sits on your skin, and that's why it either inflames or becomes itchy. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, the bug bite thing—it's a totally just the, just the device. There's no medicine. There's no nothing. All it does is you put you put it on the bug bite and you suction it out, and it what it does is it sucks out the uh, the saliva and everything, and 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 within like hours, your mosquito bites are gone and all that stuff. Wow! So that's, that was that's huge. Yeah, that That'd was crazy. Yeah, that was really cool. Okay. Um, you see some ridiculous stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I mean, except well, I've watched some of the Shark Tank. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, I've yeah. not like I've definitely not seen all of them by any means for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to think like of ones that I'm like, oh man, that's oh actually yeah the. There was a guy who was already a successful entrepreneur and then already had, like, a product and then uh, created an, another product. He was like, I'm done with that. I'm going to create a whole new one. Mm. He's like, I'm on the board for this product. I don't I don't need to be doing anything else. I could I could work on this whole time and create a whole new company or whatever. But what it was, I mean, it, it, it's, like, amazing. So uh, it's it's because I'm an adult. But uh, – <laughs> You take a, a, a stick of butter fresh out of the fridge. Okay. That's that sucks. Uh, uh, trying to spread on your on your um, toast, all yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. And you want spray butter, maybe even for your popcorn stuff like that. So you put the, your stick of butter in this device, and when you pick it up is when it activates to start heating, and it only heats a little bit at a time. So when you you actually turn your own butter stick into spray butter, and it's like it's awesome. Wow. I'm like that. That I, I would definitely use because just putting on popcorn or toast or anything like that, like you have instant like yeah, melted. I, I mean, like, perfect. And I love toast, so yeah. you know, wow. like toast and okay. jam. I'm like, no. So huh. I bought sixty of them just you so did? they're all fully charged. <laughs> Always, <laughs> yes. No, um, huh? I was gonna say that actually sounds like a, like a that's a fantastic. I mean, I'm just my mind. My yeah, alone, like that. I mean, it's 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 awesome to take a full. St- Stick of butter from the straight from the fridge, yeah. and like as you're picking it up, you're just able to. And when you sit it back down, it stops heating, so you're you're not melting the entire stick of butter. Oh, so you're not even. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, does it have like some refrigeration in it though? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure, but you don't necessarily have to refrigerate butter. No, but it just becomes a. I mean, I guess it's just a melty liquid mess. Is the same thing that you want, anyways, right? Yeah. And when it heats up, it just uh, gets a little more liquidy. So who knows? I don't know. I'm sure they thought of it. Huh. <clears throat> or not. Yeah. No. I haven't seen it on the shelf, but again, I don't seek the, that thing oh, out. No. I, I, yeah. That's the first time I've seen anything like that. But A butter heater? Yeah, it's just like the pre- <laughs> that, yeah, the, the presentations uh, uh, that people give oh, yeah, are, this, this, are, are like, oh, yeah, yeah well, salesman, you have to. Sure, absolutely. You, and the, yeah. the one lady, oh, man, I, I felt so bad because she was funny. She was standout-ish, and, like, Cuban was like, 
you're too much for me. I'm out. And it was like it, you or he was like you drive me nuts. I was like, dang, wow. man. like you're like just harsh. And then even Barbara was like, yeah, I love I like the product and everything, but if I, I I don't think I could partner with you. And it was like I'm out. She's like I can turn it off. She's like, but you have to understand, like I have to stand out. Like I have to be able to make myself memorable well, among all yeah. these other people. Yeah. And they're like, no, we we get that. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, but cool. you're still that rude about she it. She wound up getting a deal, so okay, all right, we'll give her. Mm-hmm. You know, hmm. Lori. It's, uh, it's it's interesting. It's what an interesting show because uh, as much as I could research about it, is they're all using their their actual money. Um, deals are not. I mean, they're handshaking, but deals are not actually solidified until they've done their due diligence and oh, actually like yeah, s- sign yeah. everything yeah, over. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, they have a bunch of failed ones. They have a bunch of successful ones. Okay. And, huh. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, one thing that I didn't realize. So Ring, okay, was actually on Shark Tank. It was called uh, Doorbot, and uh, it actually wound up getting bought by Amazon and turned into Ring. Wow! Isn't that incredible? They bought it for like a billion dollars or something like that. Like, and uh, that's incredible, man. And it's like Ring. I mean, it's Ring and Nest. Like, those are synonymous. You know, like those that's, are the, that's you. I, I would say the top two names. Oh wow! One hundred percent, absolutely. Oh yeah, that's that's incredible. That's, oh yeah, that's, that's probably so a million cool. of them out there. But oh yeah, right, yeah, right. I mean, right, but right. the big ones for sure. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's just cool to like see like Scrub Daddy. Lori partnered with the dude for Scrub Daddy, and that that I mean that's still huge. You oh, know? huge. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of fun to see, like, you know, they all have their own expertise. So, like, some people, like, just dog some of the stuff. And other people are like, well, there's some utility in this. Well, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. some, like, they'll notice something about the product or app that, like, the people who designed it didn't. And, like, figure out a way to, like, license it or do whatever. And they're like, oh, I, I didn't even know. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. These people are, like, businessmen. They yes, know people. how to market everything. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? Give them a, a cup doing, of water and yes, it's something yeah, somehow, different. Yes, and they're going to make some money. The biggest waste of time was one of, one that we just saw uh, uh, the other, last night, I think. It's a great idea, but the application is, is kind of stupid. So mm. you would take distilled water off the shelf from a store, take it home, and then you would drop these, these mineral th- packet in it. And then it gives you this fantastic drinking water filled with minerals, and you use that for your coffee. And they gave them, like, regular water, coffee, and then this coffee. And they, they agreed, like, this tastes great. But nobody's going to go through the trouble of getting distilled water off the shelf, then having to pour this into that just to make coffee. No. They're just either going to get it from the tap or filtered water already. Like, nobody's going to go through that extra step. True. If they do... It's not going to last long. You're not yeah. going to do that every time. No, no, no. Uh, you know, so it's it's just interesting because they're like, "Can you do it with tap water?" And they're like, "No, it only works with a, a a cleaner water source. You can't do it with tap water." It's like, well, that's you might as well throw that out yeah, at this point. For sure, yeah. I would only be interested if I could do that with my tap water. Yeah. So I'm like, that is yeah, your market is so small. Yeah, it was like you'd yeah, be yeah. some novelty idea. You'd yeah, be like, for sure. I'm a fancy coffee drinker. Yes. I have the fancy minerals. And it was just like, no. So it's I'm, not worth dumping much money until I get yeah, sure. yeah, right, right. Like, I mean, it sounds like a good idea. I mean, I love my coffee. I was like looking into it because I'm like, man, like these sharks are, even in one season, are dumping money left and right if they yeah. take these deals. But then I realized like how wealthy these people are. It's still a... Like, fraction of what you know they're <laughs> shelling out it's so it's so funny i'm like man that's incredible no it's incredible mark cuban owns a basketball team uh yeah he's he's worth like 4.9 billion dollars yeah. um there's this other lady who was on the other day i've never seen her before she's sarah but she she's worth 750 million dollars i'm like dang it mr wonderful is like worth 400 million dollars um i mean that Damon wow. is worth like three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars. A thousand? That's it? Three, no, no, three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I was thinking you were saying millions. Uh, oh yeah, or millions. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you even corrected it. I meant four hundred million. Yeah. 
Sorry, Mr. Wonderful has 400 like, million and Damon has, much money. <laughs> has 350 to 400 million. You're like, I don't think your numbers are right. Yeah, they're not right. It's millions. I'm sorry. Can't be shelling out the cash in the thousands. You're like, ah, yeah. they're, they're really risky yeah, with their money. Whoa. No, no, no. Yep. They put it all in, huh? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. All in with you, man. Yeah, like, damn, sure. we're going to go down together. All right. No, that's very cool. I, you know, I'm not one for sucker stories. Like, I'm not no, one for, yeah. like, oh, uh, l- listen to my my story. It's like, no, like, like, tell me the product story. Tell me, like, what got yeah. you there or, or whatever. And if it has to do with something like that, cool, whatever. Yeah. But, like, it's not all don't about bring the that. waterworks. I'm not a, uh, no, I I'd, be, I'd be more like Mr. Wonderful. And I'm like, let's get to the. Oh, really? Yeah. Not, like, you're there to do business with these sharks. Yeah. Like, quit trying yeah. to tie. These people, they don't care. No, and you think you're the first one? Yeah, right. Exactly. Everybody has a store, right? Yeah. So it's like. So, yeah. So. Well, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Shark Tank. Yeah, we just. Shark yeah. Tank. Yeah. I mean, don't be wrong. I like Shark Tank, but yeah. I, I mean, I have to go back I'm, and yeah, I'm trying to think, like, if, if we've even, because we haven't finished The White Lotus. Um, I mean, that's been weeks, actually. We're going to have to restart. We're going to have to rewatch the last episode just to make sure. <laughs> <better. laughs> just to remember. <laughs> um, no, yeah. It's kind of a busier week, and then we uh, went camping. Uh-huh. So, yeah. What about you? Same here. Really? I went, no, well, well, I shouldn't say that. So um, I started something that we've been talking about for, 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 for a couple of weeks at least. You know, it's been brought up a couple of times. Um, I started Squid Games. Yes. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Jealous. No, uh, no, yes. it's fine. But yeah. I'm just very, I, I couldn't, I like, can't wait forever. Wait yeah, more. right. So I know. I know. What's, what's crazy. So I, I was watching, uh, like I was watching YouTube or something and, and Fortnite videos came up and they actually, it's Squid Games is blowing up so bad, so much right now that it's actually Fortnite made a game mode already of Squid Games. Man. I'm telling you, it's absolutely insane. They, it's, uh, it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, it, it's the high. It's it's already the highest watched show on mm-hmm. Netflix it's, it's in insane. in like show history, and uh, yeah, and you haven't watched it yet. I haven't even watched it yet. Yeah, I know. I, I, think, know I, don't, I, I don't think anybody that we want capable with watch it either. My mind's blown. Like I need to. I need to. I mean, it's insane that because you know we we also talk about Awesome Borderlands a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I'm shocked. That it like it didn't blow up as much as that as like Squid Games did. Oh, like Alice and Borley? Yeah, especially because like I feel like if it's anything like that, yeah, it's the originator was Alice and Borderlands. Not yeah, it's yeah. I would say they a, paved yeah. the way, and Absolutely. it's not like like that's still like in its infancy. Like we yeah. still need a season two of yeah, that. Yeah, that's not even over yet. So <sighs> I mean, yeah, that's why is... I'm like, if people are gonna compare it to that, or or if it's even in that same category, they have a big yeah. And to I, fill. I think one thing that is different from this one. To Alice in Borderlands, it's more, I'm not going to say realistic, but it's more almost, I mean, but it's definitely more like violent and realistic. So if I'm going to say anything about it, got it. Yeah, it yeah, it's yeah. definitely violence, but like the violence is more realistic, which is kind of crazy. So like, because to me, the, the difference in like Alice in Borderlands, I'm not, I don't, I'm not spoiling anything right now, but I'm just saying like, Dude. You still don't know 100% of what's happening with the people that are... Yeah, right, right, right. So, like, right? the overallness yes. isn't as realistic as well, yes. Squid Game. But I'll tell you what, for realistic violence, that whole, like, the, oh, the well, beach, and, and Alice in Borderland, the beach, no. when they just start gunning people down. Like, watch, 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 watch Squid Games. Yeah? All right. Yeah, I'm oh, all right. So when so, before you leave, yeah. when we're when we're done here, you better walk at least open these doors, uh-huh. and you better yell at Jessica and say, "Hey, let's get on it." All right, we it. need to freaking yeah. Let's watch watch it. some Squid Games. I'm so. telling you, cause I'm, will you guys watch the first the first two episodes, and and you're gonna you're automatically gonna be hooked, like hooked. That that's yeah. and that's exactly what happened to me. So it was I watched the first one. And I was good at first, actually. So I watched the first one. And I wanted to watch the second one, but then the, the game was on yesterday because I watched a Browns game yesterday, too. So Got it, got it. Nail biter, man. It makes me so angry. But anyways, uh, I mean, this, <laughs> it was a crazy scoring game. It was like 45 to 43. I mean, it was a oh, high wow. scoring football game. And it was a shootout all there and down all the way back. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's, it's insane. Uh, not the Browns. Damn. Chargers did. So it makes me upset. But anyways, I mean, this is a great team. It was a great game. I can't complain about it, but. Uh, anyways, so like I, that's why I didn't want to watch the second one, and then we had to watch then the movie we we're watching too. So like, 
Um, so w- with that being said, that's why I, you know, so I got one episode in, but then once I started, I started watching this morning. Didn't stop. Didn't stop. Well, I, I mean, I, I stopped. I, I'm, st- I did not finish. Oh, you it. didn't finish it. No, okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay. no. So I, so I still, I guess I, I started it. So I think I've, I think I just watched episode four or five or something. So it's not like I'm like super crazy far. I mean, I mean, I guess Friday nine episodes I'm halfway through, but, um, but so, but oh, five, really, five out of nine. Yeah, I think I think I start. I think I watched. I'm either you no. Know, I might have watched. I think I watched five. I think I watched five. I'm on to six. I think is what it is. Yeah, we we've, we've got to get on that yeah. one. I, I'm. It was funny. It was like we we had finished something. Oh, when we finished the the day we finished the circle. Oh yeah. Okay. I, uh, I it ended and uh, I, I hovered over Squid Game. I'm like, you ready? Yeah. Like, Not this late. I'm like, no. no. The I need to, so. Yeah, for sure. The first episode you guys can get through, with, even if it's late night. Yeah. It's the Tell late you. night munchies. Oh. I got the late night munchies. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should, though. Yeah, all right. Um, so, anyways. Okay. All right. I'm, I, I'm not going to go into great detail about it. But yeah, I don't just at thought, all. Cause, uh, well, I just thought it was crazy that all of a sudden, I, I, it was actually when we were on the way home from camping. Actually, no, no, no. When we got here and I was driving home. When I was driving home, you started watching it while you were driving. No, 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 no. <laughs> My phone started blowing up with more stuff that I didn't get over the weekend because I had no service. Oh, uh, okay. And it was like YouTube videos and things like that of like people playing Fortnite. I'm like, this is this is insane. This is Blow crazy. Up. So I'm like, you know what? I want to go home. I showered from camping. You know what I mean? I got you know I ate a little bit and I sat down. And watch Squid an episode of Squid Games. That's exactly like I'm like that's my game plan for this Sunday right now when I go home. Yeah, and I'm so glad that I did. National phenomenon. That's yeah, a it's global crazy. phenomenon. So, uh, it'll definitely be, it'll be done by the time I've seen the next podcast. So oh yeah, I'm sure. Know, yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, I think that you know, and I'll definitely state a fact in that. Well, maybe we'll make room. that a goal for sure. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, I really haven't watched anything else besides the movie. Um, I did have a, a, just a question for you. So it, it, this this triggered my mind when I first when I first ever heard about it. Okay, have you seen or have you have you ever liked the Brittany Murphy story? Like, do you know anything about Brittany Murphy? Yeah, she and, like had overdosed. Um, well, yeah, sleeping. but they're saying like, she was like poisoned, and oh. like there's like a lot of so there's actually a documentary coming out saying like, hey, listen, this was actually like her husband locked her into her house, and it was like the, so like it kind of went into this crazy like details, and it, it made me like I for some reason just super interested in watching it. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's something else is coming out on Hulu. Uh, I th- oh, I'm pretty sure it's Hulu. Uh, eight, no, I'm sorry, HBO. It was HBO. Oh, wow. A, a, okay. HBO spe- documentary. So it's like it's supposed to be like this super in depth, crazy. I mean, it was all over. Brittany Murphy was a hell of an actor. Well, I know. Like, yeah, that's that that's the thing that sucks. Like, it was like, I told they made me like, man, I know her. Like, and this is kind of a good story. You know like, her? No, I'm well, just kidding. Yeah. We went to school together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, one of our friends, we went to different high schools together. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so listen. Uh, so, like, so it's just one of those things that, like, for some reason, it just caught my eye. And yeah, I'm like, like I feel a, like I guess maybe I don't know as much as I should. Yeah, and, and yeah, well, that, that would be a good one because the only thing that kind of makes me nervous soon, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So like the storyline of her and all that is kind of definitely kind of like one of these you know kind of weird Man, things. Sin City, Eight Mile. Yeah, I mean Eight Mile. That was a, that was a game breaker for me when I was a kid. Yeah. You know. It's one of my yeah. favorite. Looks like my favorite. That was like favorite one of my artists. Favorite, yeah, yeah, that's so that's insane. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was you like, know, man, like, it was crazy. This like, guy could do it all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and his is his own life story. You know, yeah, you're right. like, man, this is groundbreaking. But so it was definitely sweet. So, anyways, yeah. but yeah, so, um, so it's definitely something that I like. Was I'm definitely interested in. Um, I definitely want to watch it when it comes out. I think, that's cool. I think it's yeah. coming out later this month, um, at some point. So, uh, yeah. So it's definitely at least I'm gonna at least gonna add to my watch. Yeah. List. Yeah. There's a lot happening, but we I'm love we love mine. a good uh, documentary. So yeah, that yeah. sounds good. That right. sounds good. So yeah, it makes me kind of want to go on like a little documentary kick. Yeah, that's fun. All right, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, it's like man, that's a that's a sad one because she she was definitely like a star. Like, oh, so, yeah, she, yeah, she'd be in a ton of stuff by and, now. And, and think about it. Do you remember when she passed? I mean, do you remember that whole? Th- I mean, two thousand eight. Yeah, I think. I, well, no, I don't think it was two thousand eight. Two thousand nine. Hmm. Sin City was what, 2008? 2007? 2009. Yeah. 2009. It was late. It was, I so. thought it was 2010, but it was late 2009. Actually, she passed away December 20th, 2009. Oh, man. That's, that's like, 
That's just like Heath Ledger, man. Yeah, like 32. Heath Ledger was 2008 or the beginning of 2009. Yeah. Like, dude, that's incredibly sad. So, like, oh, the punchline for the show was Simon took her away. The shocking claims about Mif- uh, Brittany Murphy's husband in the new documentary. Interesting. Very interesting. So. I forgot what I was. Oh. Uh, I was like, I, uh, I right. wanted to see. Uh, oh, 2005, Sin City, man. Oh, oh. Man, that's such an incredible movie. Yeah. I'm going to have to put that on my yep. rewatch list. Oh, so good. Anyways. Well, cool. So. What else you got? Oh, uh, man, I don't know if I've actually... I don't think I've watched anything else. Besides, I've watched Grown Ups. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to dedicate any time towards that. You don't like Grown Ups? So boring. Yeah, it was boring. I mean, I, I, I still laughed a couple times. I still, there's still some funny Some bars. cheap laughs. And, exactly. Yeah, well, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so I mean, I've watched a great it, obviously. Movie. It's a movie I won't go to sleep to. So if I can fall asleep to a funny comedy, it's not that good of a comedy, right? I'm just saying. Um, Jessica actually was, uh, while while we were out camping, no. Road Trip was on. She was, like, watching Road Trip, and she was like, man, I haven't seen it in so long. I was laughing so hard. That's like, awesome. Like, I haven't seen that one in a while yeah. either. I, it, that is such a funny movie. Actually, I haven't. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, that's my, such my, a when good I was one. young. My dad actually had it on, had it on DVD, so like, I, yeah. I watched it. You know, more often when I was young. But that's crazy. I mean, I could probably still remember like ninety percent of the. Movie. Oh yeah, I mean, for sure. Saying, yeah, but, that's such a yeah. good one, man. And there's a big cast in that too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was a lot of fun. Tom Green. Oh. <laughs> trying to feed the mouse to the snake. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's so funny. Comes up, with, <laughs> comes up with like crazy song like what does the starfish say? Yeah. Sends the Jessica had brought this scene up. He sends her to the wrong uh, city or whatever, and she goes to that college. And the dude has like she's like tells the one girl that that you know she he's been cheating or whatever and she goes out and starts bashing the car with the bad <laughs> baseball bat oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same dude at all all right so here here's a, a little tidbit <laughs> okay you know uh, the guy is <laughs> i'm pretty sure like he's like licking her toes on the su- on the bus and she's uh, like why is every guy a, like a freak you know like, <laughs> you don't remember the guy on the bus licking her no. toes no well, so he's he's a uh, like the di- the director of Joker, uh, the Hangover trilogy. He he actually directed the Road Trip, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. But he's in it too. Yeah, That's he, awesome. he he's actually in uh, Due Date as well, and I think I think he might have directed that one as well. But yeah, he's in like the uh, he plays like this. you'd know the character too. Should I look it up? Because uh, yeah, he, he, I'm pretty yeah he's in the Hangover too, uh, where he's like in the elevator. Where I think like they were like doing it, and like one of them gets on the elevator and they stop doing it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, let's see if I, okay. Should I look up? So so I should say that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Um, Hangover. What's his name? Don't know. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of Todd Phillips. Yeah, Todd Phillips. <laughs> man, <I was> trying, <laughs> How did I like oh. that? I mean, that's insane. Only the uh, podcast can I blank so hard <laughs> on a name, man. Todd Phillips. Yeah, I, incredibly funny, but man, stepping into that Joker game, man. Oh, absolutely, that's killed crazy. It. Um, but yeah, that's that's funny. Road trip, man. Uh, I was like, it always bothers me that scene where he uh, the French toast or whatever. I asked for no uh, uh, powdered sugar or something like that. Oh, yeah. He uh, takes it back there. He flips it in yep, the back yep. of his pants, farting on yep. it. And some extra sprinkles on stuff, something on there. Mm. Uh, waiting. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember waiting when oh, uh, Dane cooked yeah, some yeah. alfalfa sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that movie oh, makes dude. me laugh so hard. I wonder, like, just, like, even what percentage of people, like, 
thought twice about ever sending their food back oh. after that movie. You know what I mean? Gotta like, be, for the first year, two yeah, years, yeah, it right. had to be so, like the, the number is up here. I I've, I've gone to dinners where like my mom has sent back food, and I'm like. Don't, don't yeah don't, don't, do don't do that it. yeah don't, don't eat do it. that See, but it's crazy though because like this is the thing i used to work in the kitchen i know i know yeah. you yeah and I, I i mean that's never you know what i mean as you a, didn't as yeah. a, i know but as a cook you almost like you're almost like it's like a prideful thing to where is you're like well, why oh this is yeah not perfect yeah if you don't if you don't hate your job well that's okay it's different well, yeah, you don't the know. Movie waiting, you go eat a whole bunch of places. You have I'm, no idea what's going you, on. The cooks in, that in the kitchen. movie waiting did not hate their job. Uh, okay, well then they still yeah. did stuff. So <laughs> what are you trying to say? You, that was not in your defense at all. Those guys love uh, their listen, jobs because they did do that stuff. Yeah, listen, all my chefs out there, don't be messing with. Yeah, yeah else, don't man. be messing with people's food. But I know y'all. Do. I, yeah, I don't. Also, I usually don't send anything back. No. I will. Either not eat it or just see the thing is as I I can't help it with a steak, I can't eat I cannot I ha- my steak is has to be even my hamburger I don't I don't really go to restaurants and order hamburgers that like enough to work if I'm going to a restaurant like that I usually eat well like, medium rare mm. oh no way it's, it's too red it's it's not it's it's not see you now there's, there's a difference though okay there's a medium rare where the meat in the center is actually cooked yeah like I want to I like a B spot uh yeah you ever been to B spot no. Their medium rare is like and like rare, right? Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I'm yeah. saying. No, and I when like I said when I used to cook, I mean we had a guy that said literally put it on there, make my grill lines on both sides, and take it off. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right, what right. I want. That's yeah. yeah. I, I'm like that is the, that is I can't I can't I just can't do that. I just can't. I mean yeah. I there's no way they say it's a healthier way to eat it, but I'm I like you know, uh, I, I definitely mind. like my steak medium rare though because like you start getting that well done and it's just so see, chewy. See, I say I say medium and medium actually comes out. Almost perfect for me every time. Yeah. Me, the rare part, just as soon as, perfect, soon as you put so rare, it's just an opinion. Well, for me, that's what I'm saying. Perfect for me. The medium. real option is medium rare. Oh yeah, see, <laughs> <laughs> guy. Yeah, I'd open up a, a steak joint and it was like, you don't get a choice. Yeah, <laughs> it's all medium rare. If you don't like yeah. it, get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah. 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 Well, you well, want to yeah. chit chat about a movie? I think we should. All right, I think it's time. I think it's gonna be a heavy hitter on the movie. Oh man! So prisoners, prisoners. Yes, Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, Terrence Howard, Viola Davis, mm-hmm. uh, Dylan McDermott. Um, I think that's his name. Um, I can't. I can't remember uh, everybody's name. No, but man, Detective Loki. <sighs> Jake Gyllenhaal is just such a great actor, man. See, his character actually... You didn't like him? No. Why? I didn't like where the movie brought him. I don't like the movie, like, what, like... This, what bothers me about this movie is your setup. Only thing that you truly, to me, that you find out in this movie, okay? And this was my problem. I even explained this in depth when I talked to my cousin about this, that I hated the fact that he was this detective... That had tattoos on his neck and on his hand, and you can tell that he was part of something. He has a history, he has a background, right? Yeah. Only thing you find out about this character is that he's he's he solved every single case he's ever done, right? Which so is why, awesome. Why 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 do you need? No, I don't need that. But like, but like, okay. So I just think that like it bothered me when the okay. So after everything happened, he's sitting in the in the on the wife's house of, of Hugh Jackman's house, right? Yeah. That, that he's sitting and he's sitting and talking on the couch with the wife, remember? Yeah. And she goes, "Detective, do you have any kids?" And he, I know he doesn't respond back. All he says was, "I'm gonna find your, I'm gonna find your daughter, yeah, man." Yeah, right. And yeah. then, so for some reason, like, don't be wrong. Did I? I don't like absolutely like hate the character. I guess I just it bothered me that like th- that you this was such a huge character and there's no background. There's no background in any. So character, I, I think I think like you you have to look at the conversation. Nothing. I I think he's he's been through. Uh, all right. So like. If this if this detective has been on as many cases or whatever, yeah. how many conversations like these has he had? Yeah, but how do you he know how many kn- cases he had though? It, well, it, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. It, it okay. doesn't matter. He's a seasoned right. detective, yeah. right? right? So so he's had many conversations like this, uh-huh. right? So nothing he's gonna say is gonna help. Not, not associating with it, not. Do you have kids? Well, why even bother answer it? It's not. It's, it's she's not, not listening. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not even listening. 
she just wants to hear one thing. Like I don't I don't think I I don't know. I think you gotta read the conversation. You gotta read the room. Like, well, why? I'm not saying that he didn't do his part, that part of it. Well, they, they wanted to leave him a mystery, and that's what they did. I mean, that's that's the thing. I well, mean, it's, it's, not, it's just like not even about him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We talking about like the movie? Yeah, like well, I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's it's, it's you know, like it's it's not needed. Like you don't need anything in it. You yeah, know? yeah. But there's like other things that at first didn't bother me. That he, so he has a, he has a ring on his finger, right? So you can look all that stuff up. Well, I know. Then see, that's what that's the same thing that. So this is the same conversation I have with my cousin, where he's defending everything. Oh, that's not a wedding ring. That that's. It's that's not a, a wedding ring. Where's on his pinky? No, no, it's not his ring finger. No, it's not. It's not. I'm telling you right now, dude. Look at it. All right, all right, all right. I'm, all right. I'm, I'm, yeah. So it's not a it's not a wedding ring, dude. Like you could definitely tell it's not a wedding. It ring. looks it looks it looks like a like a, I know it's it's an older movie. So they didn't do these yet, but it looks like a the rubber. Like no, the rubber it's ring. a it's like a gaudy ring, like you would get for like graduation or uh, more of like a symbolic ring type of thing. And his tattoos, I think, is like the Masons or something. So I mean, like you can look this stuff up. You know, what I mean, like so yeah. it's not it's not like you need the backstory if you if you're truly interested in the character. Then yeah, and I think that's where like if for some reason I just wasn't ready for that aspect of it through him and i don't know why i just felt like that the the character that he played i'm not saying there was a okay so the dialogue crazy acting part i i guess i can't say that he that he obviously did his part well i don't know why the storyline actually kind of it didn't suck me in i i don't like it's so and i think that it's just kind of like um Okay, so let me give you my honest opinion about the movie first. Man, this is wild. I liked, th- I liked the movie. I liked, and I don't want to say like the Jake Gyllenhaal character just bothered me because I felt like it was everything was just unknown about this character, and he is just this awesome detective. But guy but but that, he's like working the case. He's do- you literally are watching him staying like up for sure constantly. So yeah. it's not like he's just. Wonderful cop. He's doing the work. Well, yeah, that's oh, yeah, why. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. he's proving himself like in every scene. Like he's not just some wonder cop who solves things. He puts in the work. No, yeah. he puts starts putting things together. Do you know? Do you want to know the first thing that made me mad about him is when he went to when he when he got the list, and this is where my I think my own stupidity happened here. He got the list of people in the area. They were the sexual. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so then he goes to the 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 priest's house, right? Yeah. When he goes in there and he moves the fridge and he goes into the thing to find it underneath, right? Mm-hmm. For some reason, that scene alone of him just jumping into a dark hole, like just I don't, I just didn't like that scene of it. And to me, it was towards the very beginning of me questioning everything. Also, think yesterday I was not in the, in the greatest of moods. I was gonna say like, man, like that's what they do, man. What? What? What, what, what is so bothersome about? No, I just think. That, I like, mean, okay, well, I'm just telling you. Would you go to somebody's somebody's house and you move a refrigerator? Dude, a all right. So, like, let me put this in perspective. All right. So, they're like not in our neighborhood, but in a couple of neighborhoods away from us, there's like these break-ins happening. Yeah. You know, these cops are going around on bikes in the middle of the night to go out and, like, do these things. You know what I mean? Like, these cops, these detectives, like, that's what they do, man. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I like, mean, that's, that's cool. Like, like he's going to go down there with his flashlight to check everything out. Yeah, but he... This dude is going to run through every single possibility. Yeah. I think, no, see, that him going down there, going to see what's down there is different. What I'm saying is he walked up to this black hole, has no idea what's going on in this hole, and he just jumps in there. But, why, yeah. but you would, like, look around. Wouldn't you, like, want to call for some, like, you smell a dead body. And you, as, as, as a, I guess maybe I'm just think differently because I'm not a cop, but I just. So, yeah, like I, I would think like a, a detective who works alone, like why, why would he call back up? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Like I, no. the, the dude's passed out up, up top, you know, like, no. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I see it differently, I guess. Yeah. I just don't like not, not trying to like debate him. Yeah. And, like, I, see, and his, I get, I think that's probably where my problem was. I just, everything he did, I didn't like. 
And I just think for some reason, and then actually, in some of... So you might not be a good detective. No, some of, <laughs> some of Jake Gyllenhaal's scenes were, fan, like, his acting is phenomenal. That's why I don't... I, I, I know, I that's like why I'm Jake like, man, I, I'm like blown away. Like, Yeah, and I just for some reason... We haven't even started on Hugh Jackman yet. Well, no, see, no, Hugh Jackman's a totally different story, so... He's a, he's, he's, he crosses lines, bro. Dude, insane. Okay, but yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal first off. Dude, okay. but see, oh. but so do you know what I think? Like another thing that kind of like another actor in this movie, act, actress in this movie that I did not like, that really just kind of just was like, nah, I'm good. Hold on, her name is. I I, I had it. I just looked it up. Man, um, this guy's absolutely wild. Uh, Maria Bella. I, I don't know who that is. That is Hugh Jackman's wife. What did she do wrong? No, I just feel like she was once again. She's she should have been a huge part of this entire movie, and she was not at all. She yeah, was, I just think that there's like certain characters that kind of for some reason I, was, I think I was expecting stuff from, and I never got it. And that kind of so I mean, like I, I feel like everybody goes through, through things differently. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Well, she was and, she slept and stuff. So like I mean, like, well, yeah, because yeah, yeah. she was like being put on drugs to yeah. sleep and yeah. everything. And so like I like so like, I don't worry, I, I get that, but like even this okay, the scene where the guy where she heard somebody go into her daughter's room. Yeah. Okay. So like that scene, to me was just very like non. I just thought the scene. I felt like the scene was just thrown in. It made sense that they had to do it because of what the end result of like with that when. Uh, oh right, yeah. You when know they, what I mean? fi- they find finding out. the socks. And, yes, exactly. And, and knowing yeah. that they they went and got the clothes yes. So like, I feel like they had to do that. But for, for me, for that scene, it was just kind of like, man, I don't know why, man. I don't know. It's just weird. Even just just something wrong. So Sean was on the same ballpark as you were. Yeah, like and I'm I just blown had a away. Different like, story. It, it, and then, God, the music alone <laughs> in this movie <laughs> was so absolutely funny. incredible. Yeah, so funny, yeah. dude. Like. Like scenes would be going on and the music would get striked up and it's like it's such a cinematic and and oh. so, yeah I just don't I even I honestly I can't even tell you anything about the music in that one I think I have to rewatch this movie I think I watched it in a bad time frame it was right after camping yeah, that I that I night. don't get it yeah I'm, I was I'm blown away because I'm like it's absolutely incredible I mean like what did you even think about the ending what the ending yeah that, that made me mad too. Like, why how how could it make you mad <laughs> because you don't know what happens i knew that would make you mad That's i'm not gonna lie yeah i knew that would make you mad i i love it it's it's an ambiguous ending where you can you did he hear the whistle will he find him in time i don't know see you like he it? does he cracks every fucking case, man. Yeah, I just dropped an F bomb right there. Whoa. I I I I loved it. Yeah. I, I even like get excited. Like like I've watched it one time and this is my second time watching it. Yeah. And I got excited for him to hear the whistle, his look, and then end. Because it's just so good. It's such an ambiguous ending. What do you what do you want to happen? Do you want him to be found? No, I know. Well, see that's the problem. I don't know. I, I, that's the problem. I don't. You don't even like. You don't even like. You just have no idea, and that's what that's what bothers me. He doesn't move the car. He has no idea that there's a that there's a thing under the car. Okay, and then all right. So, and this is another thing I think that when I say the storyline didn't drag me in, and I think I, this is where I ruined it for myself, is I guess the storyline before you find out the storyline, and I think that kind of just like did not make me excited, right? I knew what I knew who and what was happening when the whole situation. At first, I had a different story. They always tell you at the very beginning, right? So, and I try not to do it to myself. I never do this, and that's the kind of mood I was in last night, where I was like, "Oh, yep, this and this and this is gonna be this. That's it. That's a story, right?" I'm just saying it was like a weird. I was in a weird mood. I can't. I don't know. I have no. I, I can't really say what it was because I don't normally do that. I feel like we've never dif- besides yeah. besides Aquaman, we've never differed so vastly on a on a movie. So you didn't know what was coming. Not that I w- I didn't know, but not to the depth. Not the waging war with God and the well, reasons and that was different. I I can't, I'm saying who I should say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, like yes. you, you definitely get that feeling and, For sure. and, and all of that yeah. stuff. But yeah, like, 
Because so like remember the priest's house who he says his confession. Well, yeah. And yeah. then you meet the aunt or right that that was the aunt, right? It was what she's. Well, you, she you actually uh, meet the aunt first. Yeah. And she talks about how her. Oh, husband... Oh, that's right. That was first. Yes, it yeah. was. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Because then because when he said his confession, that's when that's when I'm like, wait a minute. Yep. Oh. Right, and then all of a sudden it clicked. I I loved um, just like like one of the things I absolutely love about the movie is the the swapped positioning. So, you know, the girls are in 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 prison, right? And Hugh Jackman does everything that he could possibly do, and he winds up in the same spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the same prison, and then. You have um, uh, Detective Loki, who thinks I know where this guy is going, but he's missing the details. And when you're there, it's like the detective's curse; it's always under your nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if he had looked at the picture with the necklace, he would have noticed it from the very first time because he had been in that house when he did, when he talked to um, Alex and he talked to the aunt. And he looked at the picture and said, oh, that's his uncle. He really loved him. He saw that necklace. But he never correlated it with that body with the necklace because he didn't pay enough attention. And it's like that that's a failure on him. And then another failure on him is – so it's like, it's like he didn't solve it. Hugh Jackman's character um, – what is it? Do you want to know? Yeah, I don't know. Keller Dover? Kel- yeah, Keller yeah, Dover, yeah. yeah. He did. Yeah. Uh, because if he hadn't interrupted what was going on, she would she would still be able to it. do whatever yeah, she needed sure. to do. And, uh, and that's the other thing. I think the, just the movie line in general disgusts me. Yeah, I, it's, a- it is a dark yes, film. Yeah, yeah. It, it's... I just don't know. I just I, I, I don't know what it was. Maybe. Yeah, it, it gives you the heebie-jeebies because yeah. it deals with uh, a, a lot of... Dark, dark stuff. And, yeah, and, and like in yeah. that, and just don't. I... Paul Dano is incredible. He's the guy who Hugh Jackman kidnaps. Oh, Keller Dover kidnaps. So you, you know, what I'm talking about with the hammer scene now. Yeah, yes. So at first, it was, I thought it was, I thought it was funny because don't be wrong. His that scene was absolutely phenomenal, and I was, I was, just talking, I was, I was, I was talking about it. I thought that you were saying that how violent the scene was with the hammer, right? Well, what I'm talking about is. What, what what I was referring to is, yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, the dude is putting his hand there and smashing and smashing, and then as he's getting worked up, he throws that freaking hammer in the wall. Yeah. But being Paul Dano as a real life actor, and this dude is in character. Oh yeah. I would literally like when he drops down. I kid you not. That's probably Paul Dano oh, dropping really down for yeah, real. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know if this dude is actually going to hit me with a hammer. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? That's true. No, that, it, that, that is true. I mean, don't wrong. The, it was the, such a, a powerful scene. It was such a, a big scene, man. Yeah, now, that, I, I will agree with you. I mean, okay, so, so bring him to Hugh Jackman, too. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man was absolutely perfect throughout the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, for sure. He stood out to me. And that's where, like, I didn't want to, like, say I hate the movie. I don't hate the movie by any means. I really don't. There's just things I'm just like, I just don't like. And like I said, maybe I should just rewatch it. Maybe I should just sit back and just uh-huh. watch it in the dark, just watching the movie. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe, I, maybe that's what I should do because I really, Scott, like just I said. just like turn up, turn it up. Listen to the, the just music. get in tune with the yeah. music, yeah. man. Like the, the music heavily sets so much mood in it. And, and, and I feel like the, the overall just movement of this movie is just like this beautiful story that's yeah, crazy yeah. I mean, it's absolutely a disgusting one but yeah, well, yes yeah I don't, I don't know yeah. so you didn't like the hammer scene no i like the hammer scene oh. i'm not saying no 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 no. i like i, like, I love the hammer scene oh. i i'm just saying i thought that it was because you're right it's it was violent but for some reason the what what the situation is leading up to and you're saying this hammer scene i'm thinking i'm seeing actual striking of to him is what is what i thought that you were like referring to gotcha. right so that's when I was like, wait, I'm like, oh, wait, that's not the scene, right? You know what I mean? After I saw it, I'm like, Jeez, that's not the this scene. this guy. This guy, man. What? No, the scene was great. Hard to impress this guy. You, oh you, you, I'm never going to beef up a movie for you to watch it again. You're, what? You're, you're expecting so much, it seems like. you know? No. You're awfully judgy on this film. Well, I'm not judgy. 
I've just heard you nitpick some of the most ridiculous items. What do you mean? You like you're the not the flashlight scene with Jake Gyllenhaal? No, all of the scenes that you've complained about with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't like Jake Gyllenhaal, I think, man. Like that's the problem. Oh man. Reason. Well, do I, you know what it was? I think it was the mystery that just really bothered me. Like I thought that, that you were going to That is so learn about... insane to me. I'm like, like that I'm is just so... this, ta- this massive tattoo on the side of his neck and the, the ladders. Oh, I never found the ring. I'm going to look it up later, and I'll let all you right, know. Right, I'm going right. to send you a screen grab of him wearing that ring on this finger right here that looks like he's married. All right. It's a black ring. It's not a black ring. So I, you're, you're talking about this hand, then. <laughs> oh, okay. Does he have uh, two different well, rings? I'm telling you, because this hand, that's what threw me off. That's why when she said that, I looked for it on his hands because he was, like, doing some of those hands at the same scene, and I, there was a black ring on his, this finger. Got it. Okay, so, so I'm thinking about the you're right about hand. the right then. hand. Okay, where he's got the pinky I was thinking about the left, one. and that's what I'm saying. Interesting. So like, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't look for that. That's interesting. And I think because I was looking for it. There, like, when I heard the story, because I won't, like, I just was interested in the character. And then you I know, a little about too it. much. Gosh. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's the most obvious things, dude. I just want to, uh, why, is he, why is he doing this? Why is it, like, not why is he doing this, but, like, where is his family i guess not family but like where's his history why is he this awesome guy it's not about that i know okay that's you're right and that's where in my mind maybe (laughs) i just went into it with a whole different perspective or something so you like uh hate uh the joker in the dark knight no i mean you have no idea where he came from what yeah but but you're going and expecting a bad character to come oh good gracious here we go (laughs) I'm just saying. Nitpick? No. Nope. Nitpick? You're nitpicking my... Well, my yeah! Nitpicking. Yeah! This no. movie is a 100% out of 100%. <laughs> no, it is so good. It's yeah. phenomenal acting. It's Well, the acting was phenomenal. Dude, like, I I resonate so much with, like, Terrence Howard's character just because it's like, dude, like, you kind of get where, where Hugh Jackman's character is, yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. you're like, dude, he is wailing on this dude. He's... Yeah. He's just doing like going too far. I I couldn't do that. Like yeah, that, oh, that's, no. that, that at least I don't know. I not have not been put yes. in that position. I hope yeah. to God I well I never get put in that position. Yeah. Um. But I, so I I I feel like man, you're 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 going too far. Like are are you able to go, are you able to go go home and look at yourself and like and justify what I did. Was, was was the right, right thing. Yeah, I, I don't like. I mean, no he, religion involved, no anything yeah. involved. Morally, as a human being, like I don't know. No. I don't think I'd be able to look at myself the same. Like, and I think like that's where like the ending is kind of playful with that, right? Yeah. But do no. you even think Loki would turn him in? I I, I don't know. Like, well, there's, there's a lot like, of things to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like I I don't necessarily agree. That's like the fun, the gray area of what would you do to find the ones you love. Like, you, you know, you, just like what the wife says. You know, I I know what he did, but I thank God that he did because you know he was doing everything he could to find our daughter. Yeah, and it, and it's like okay. Yeah, I kind of agree, but whoa! Did you yes. look at his face? I mean, did you? I mean, oh, that exactly. But yeah, see, I'm like not a hundred percent sold on Paul Dano being like only a ten percent IQ because he does the things where like he goes for a walk with a dog and he looks around. Making sure nobody's around, and then does that to the dog. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So like you know, there's some awareness. Yeah, and then walking around singing the song. Yeah, yeah. I mean you you can't talk, but you can memorize a song. She like that. she even says like the kids were always sadder when Alex was gone, and it's funny because it's just like yeah, because he's probably probably does have like a kid like mentality, but man, sure. like I don't know to be able to drive, to be able to exactly. do some things. There's and a then, lot of things. Then that... he says the thing taunting in the parking lot, so yeah. it's like. He he does do things that, you know, would trigger someone who is yeah. desperately wanting to find their daughter. And well, uh, for sure, and like I said, and, and I, I I don't know. So like I don't condone it, but well, it's no, like, no, but it's no. like, and then it's like um, Viola Davis, uh, uh, her character, T- Terrence Howard's wife in the, oh, in the movie, yeah, where, yeah, where she's yeah. like, mm-hmm. he's about to rip the wall down, but it's like, you know, what if he does? Like, what if he does? No. Yeah. What if one thing he does actually gets this guy to talk and it, bingo, you know. 
but it's like still morally on your conscience that you allowed him to continue you know burning him with the hot water and yeah. all that stuff so it's like it's it's it's, it's, it's a moral conundrum i mean it's uh, I, there's so many layers to this movie that that i think like Maybe your mood you were missing. Well, yes, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah, like yeah, it, it, it is like an onion. I mean, there's just so, there's so many layers to this movie that I feel like. If I would talk to you last night, I would probably had a lot worse things to say about like certain parts of the movie. But then waking up today and rethinking about the movie, I I I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I enjoyed different parts of it. Mm-hmm. But I also I I can't say I. I just turned around and liked Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah, say yeah. that because I didn't rewatch it. Oh, I man. I, you know what I mean? I can't say that. It, so. if, if you wind up doing rewatching it, man, yeah, just, oh, man, just just be open. Like, it, it's. I know, it's just weird. I just, I don't know what it was wrong with I it. mean, because really, you only find the, the, the certain history of Hugh Jackman's character because of him being involved. Situation. You know well, what I mean? Sure. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, same thing with almost every other, you know, yeah. every other character. I know, like, they're not main characters, well, yeah, but, yeah, but... But even, like, the son. I thought the son didn't... I mean, he played, like... He had one, like, real talking part. is when him and Hugh Jackman got in the fight in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that was, like, just... Hugh Jackman did great, and that kid was just kind of thrown into, like, the entire thing. That's the thing I was, like, just... I don't know why. That's uh, Jack stupid. Shepard's son. It is. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also, in, like... 13 Reasons Why. Oh, uh, really? He was in that awesome horror movie, uh, Don't Breathe. Oh. He's a, he's a great actor, and, and, and I, I agree, like, like maybe not enough of him or something. Yeah, it just, I just felt like, you know, why wasn't he part of, like, any of what you've seen? Well, I, th- really I think that's because it's not about them at all. That, them. It's about we, we have our two main her. characters, yeah, yeah. like Hugh Jackman and, and Detective Loki, who are prisoners in their own way. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. I just feel like, you know, because even the, the other family's daughter, remember? The only scene that she has outside of the girls going missing are, was her when, when she was talking bathroom, and then the ba- yeah. in the bathroom talking to the, who yeah. on the phone. Right? Yeah, but but in all essence, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, when I still think about the movie, it, it's, it's not really needed. It's not really pertinent. Yeah. Like, I mean, they were part of the searches. They were part of... Helping, they were part of. I mean, he's home helping with his mom and stuff. That's nothing that we're yeah. seeing or need to see. Another open end thing that I think that was weird, which maybe it's not open ended. I just I love felt like when, a they, when you hear that whistle. Anyways, what I love at the end when you hear oh, the whistle yeah. and he looks. Um, is the Bob guy, the one with the pig blood and stuff, like his whole character. Thing. Like well, I don't understand where was how was he involved? He he was um so was he trying? Do you to remember imposter? what the imposter like the visible man? Is that nope. what it was? No, all right. So do you remember um when Detective Loki he he was going through like some news like newspaper articles or whatever, and then he goes to that one woman's house who's like, oh, I must be running out of the tape. I watch it every every yeah, 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 morning yeah. after yep. breakfast. Yep. Her son is Alex. All right, so Alex was taken by these people in their war against God. Yes. Same with uh, Bob, or is, is Bobby here? Is Bob the the, the Bob. one that the one that got caught with, with the snakes with, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff? Yeah. yeah, he was also another child who was t- abducted, and they're fed LSD and all sorts of stuff, and they're they're brainwashed. Um, and and so Bob. All yeah. right, so so here's kind of something fun there's there's some there's some dialogue when he shoots himself in the in the in lockup and they're at his house and there's the mazes all over right the the guy talks about a book and the book is called finding the invisible man yeah the invisible yeah okay it's a it's a book about what the guy is talking about is an fbi agent detailing uh about a a suspect who abducted children the reason why Bob had that book is because he believes he was abducted by the Invisible Man. And he is obsessed with these mazes because, as you can see, when the girls were in there, complete all the mazes and you can go home. Yes. So he's obsessed. And then guess what? The guy who was in the basement of the church wearing the maze on his necklace, that book 
is about that guy. He is the abductor, the main abductor. When when she's talking about her husband disappearing six yeah, years ago, yeah. that's him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's Bob is connected because he was a child abducted from that. And, and he's in obsessed the with these mazes because the only thing he can connect with his abductee or abductor is the, the mazes. And with that book... Because at the at the end of the book is I, I wish it was a real book I, I look for it immediately I'm like no, I will freaking yeah. read this book right now, um, but no that's that's how he's connected he, he's he's um, just as connected as Alex is gotcha. they're, they're both abducted children in the war against God yeah. mm. turning turning the parents into demons yeah but like <laughs> but like I just I mean okay yeah I just don't understand what he was doing when he was crawling around and. Putting blood on things and stuff like that. Um, the the only thing I could think of is m- maybe she is more orchestrated because she's the one who abducted those kids. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it wasn't just Alex. So like, Who's maybe the, who drove? Who put them in the van? Who the the woman? The okay. aunt. Right. The the aunt. She's I the one who abducts. I missed the part of her. I thought Alex put the kids in the van to take them for a ride. And they took him for a ride back to his house, and the and the and then the aunt. Well, yes. Said, okay, yes. Sorry, yes. Okay, that's what that's right, right? But they, yes. She, okay. She's like they didn't want to. They didn't want to come, but she was the one who nabbed them. Yes. Into the house. And, and yes, and said they should stay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So I yeah. thought I was right, and then I, Sean was arguing with me. So I'm like, well, no, I yeah. She talk she about is that. the yeah. like Alex cannot like like Detective Logie said, he does not have the IQ to abduct two two children yeah. Yeah. and and they're gone like no. he wouldn't be capable of that but she is i knew something weird when he walked up and he said she just burned her hand i knew she didn't burn her hand an old lady i i that's mm. melissa leo she is phenomenal oh um, yeah she, she, she does a really good job she plays it off very well i yeah so i give her credit but i i i, I love the little shootout with loki because she's even like uh, cre- better cremate me. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in a box or whatever. Oh, and then, yeah, and then for turns sure. around yep. and shoots him. I'm like, man, that, that's that's it's crazy. It is crazy. So I mean, don't be wrong. Like, like I said, the movie is a it, it's it's a it's a good movie. Okay, so I mean, I'm like I wouldn't I wouldn't sell people not to watch it. Um, I just had my gripes about it, and then, but maybe, like I said, and then, I, but that's the thing; it sucks. I mean, I should have rewatched it today before a podcast, but it's so because I, I, I like you can't even say like it's because I have a kid because I felt this exact same way. I watched this movie before I had a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I feel like it's still the same, yeah, thing, and uh, I, I just feel like. Yeah, because because I I even made the I even made the thought process in my head. I'm like I do gotta think about this like a father, right? Yeah, because like there's there is no stone left unturned. Yeah. Like you will do anything. anything, dude. When he's beaten on the the dash of Loki's car, oh yeah, and he's just like, stop following me. Why are you not out there finding my daughter? You yes. know, and he's yeah, just yeah. like beating that thing. Yeah. I love a worked up uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. Oh, you know? dude, oh. he's so multifaceted though. Like he's yeah. a, he's, he's he could be this big time action hero, Wolverine, what? right? And still, yeah. these amazing performance. Yeah. Uh, he ran one time, just made me laugh. He ran. Well, so I was thinking about I was thinking about him in the hospital. In, in the hospital, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 just, yeah there's a couple yeah. scenes. I'm like, oh, you, like you getting no, it's not as agile in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird, His muscles funny. seem to get in the way. You <laughs> yeah, know? for sure. I don't know what's going on. I just, I just thought I couldn't help but laugh. I thought yeah, that scene was right, funny, right. you know. But um, well, it's, and it's definitely it's like well, because I'm like. I know where he's going, and that's why, I, oh man, I just love that because Loki thinks he's he's figuring everything yep. out right now, yep. and you still don't know, man. Yeah. You still don't know. Well, when you when he pulled in, the truck wasn't there. I'm like, yep. No, okay, he definitely did not go there because don't worry, I knew where he, he was going. He knew just, when she said you were that you were there. Yes, and he's exactly. like, oh man, wait a minute, yep. because yep. he just went there. Yep, 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 yep. I was like, oh, 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 huh. Oh my god! I I I I love that movie. It's I'll give it a second try. Okay. I yeah. I mean, if if you want, I mean, it's it's okay. I, I, mean, I, I have my own opinion. I'm not saying. Yeah, that right. I, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah, I, I get it. I guess I'm gonna encounter some people. Oh, ugh. 
don't like a fantastic movie. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Awkward, bro. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> I just, uh, man, I just love Hall. The scene where he comes out all frustrated and slams everything on his desk and then takes the keyboard and slams it. I'm yeah. like, oh, well, yeah, like, yeah. like I said, he, he definitely had I love you, man. really good scenes. Like yeah. the scene where, where like, Okay, I love way, the way he talks to his cat, the the, the, the cat police fish? chief oh, or whatever, because oh, it's sure. like, if you're gonna yeah, do something, like, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, I, I, I yeah. fucking told you, man. Yeah, yeah. See, and it's like, cause yeah, the, the Hugh Jackman's character is on another level, man. You, yeah. you piss that guy off, he's, he's he's coming at you, and you don't want that guy no. coming at you, dude. No. When he pulls in the parking lot when they let um, oh, Alex oh, go, oh, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. like, what are you doing? Dude, he pulls, they push that cop right they off do, of him. I mean, I'm like, flying. Oh, but see, like another scene though, like right, right there where Alex, where, where he said what he said to them. Yeah. He, they weren't crying they when I left. Yeah, they, they didn't cry until I left. left. Yeah. yeah, he said that very vividly. But then when you ask him any other questions, he can't say anything. Yeah. It was like so that's why I like. I'm like, like, there's there's something about yeah. Alex, and that's another. Really he even movie. says like it takes him forever, like in the in the, t- you know, and when he boards it all up, yeah, and he's talking about mazes. You get to the end of the maze and you'll find them and all that stuff, and it's like, dude, that's that's just another antagonizing thing to say, yeah, because there's no ending to that, yeah, there's no ending to the maze. But there is. It's unsolvable. I know. Meaning well, got- there is no invisible man, but there is just in the base sort of uh, some. Priest, priest yeah. So did the priest kill him? I'm guessing he the he probably asked the priest to tie him to the chair and yeah, throw him down there. Yeah, to, so that that he could stop. Which is he awesome. said he couldn't stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, but his well, I could yeah. She's scary, man. That's that's, that's the thing. It's scary. She's dude. literally like that's why I love her character because she's frightening. Yeah, you know, and and and. and I mean, I believed. I was a head believer. Tell you what. What? No, I'm just like believing her character. Oh, I I I guess guess she was a believable character. That's what I mean. I I mean, mean, she definitely played a very, very well. Yeah. I mean. I mean, even like we're the scene to where like even she left Alex in the room with Jake and Gyllenhaal in there. You know what I mean? And talking. She knew what was happening. You know, it's just weird, man. But like one scene that kind of once again it started out phenomenal when Jake Joan Hall ran in there when remember when Bob got the gun. Yeah. Sad part, right? It's terrible. But but why was, right, but right. why was there not any sort of more running up there to try to stop the situation? Well, he had a gun. He's in a small yeah, but they all do too and they're not he's not pointing he's pointing at the ground. Well, yeah, but but he's like the only link to any of this stuff. Well, yeah, but I I understand that him not well, they don't want to shoot him, but not like not let him shoot himself though too is all. What are you What are you gonna do? Yeah, well, I'm just there's a lot of it's just, so you're you're awfully nitpicky about situations. I would like to like perform experiments and put you in these situations, see what I'm you do. I'm not a cop. And then, I, yeah, well, exactly. I think that's exactly why you shouldn't be just judging how things I'm not, are done. I'm, I'm I'm just saying in a courtroom, if somebody pulls out a gun. This was in a courtroom. It was a I'm, but I'm just, investigation I'm just, room. Okay, so if if I go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to an investigation room, and they're gonna pull out. I'm just gonna pull so out. So like, gun. you gotta think that that's a big stressful moment, dude. Are you uh, kidding me? It, well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you're, you're upset. ridiculous. No, you just love it, so you're defending. All right, next every movie we're watching something it. that you love, and I'm gonna be like. It's dog crap. I did, you're just I don't even it. like the way they said the. I felt like they said it the wrong way. I knew you were going to think it this way. I'm not. Well, no, it's it, I mean, it is this way. You're I'm like not. making judgments about how people react. And it's like, dude, I would love to see the way you react. No, I just feel like there's something else they could have done. That's all I'm saying. Man, I'm, sure, that I'm sure that's a situation everywhere. I'm sure there's something somewhere yeah, that right. could be done. Okay. <laughs> but that's not how things happen. All right. All right. Bro. Bro. No, I just you gotta let me have my That's opinion. Crazy. You yelled at me about having my own opinion all about it. it. it's an it's an opinion about like, oh you you, you guys should have done something better. <laughs> all right, bro. All right. I'm like, what well, I'm, well, I'm just saying I'm just saying. All right. Um, but does Bob look familiar at all to you? Yeah, he's he's Mr. Dot Man. Yeah, yeah Polka Dot Man. Polka yeah, Polka Dot Man. Yeah, I'm a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Yeah. That was like, because, I mean, you, you kind of already know, like, they, there's something else. Like, it's it, this guy didn't orchestrate all of it. No. Man, when they, when they were, like, dig up, digging up the yard of his house and find, like, the crushed in mannequins. Yeah. And it's like, all right, so this guy had some weird... Issues. Some weird shit going yes, on. Yes, for sure. Yeah, but see, what's scary about that is that does that mean that is he doing the same thing that he was doing? The Invisible Man. He watched him bury other kids out there too, right? Yeah. So I'm just, you know what I mean? Yeah, so there the could same, be yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah. of stuff yeah. out there. Because I, I think like their main goal wasn't to kill the kids, though. No, no. Yeah. But I think, but I mean, it probably happened. I think oh, it, I'm it, sure. It, yeah, it, I'm it, sure. So, many like know. probably like overdosed or did whatever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, and it's like you're gonna need to drink a third of that that drink there. That, oh, that should be yeah, enough to take a man of your yeah, man of your stature. I'm like, yep, she's smart. You 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 you're gonna physically take him down a notch, so he can't like do much. Oh, yep. So so good. Um, what's next? What are we gonna watch next? I don't know, man. I was thinking about that. We're gonna start. We're gonna do a Twitter poll. Today, yeah, right? definitely didn't. Well, <laughs> no. Nope. So I well I totally forgot. Well, I thought we were gonna do it. T- I thought we were gonna start t- t- today. Well, that was last week was when we talked about it. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. I was yeah. I thought we were supposed to come up with two movies coming up to this week, and then we we're gonna make a Twitter poll. But maybe I was wrong. Yeah, well, we were so, come up with uh, yeah two movies yeah. and then put it on the poll I mean, you, so we could have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do, do you have any movies that you want that you have like that you want to? Uh, um, I had I had one. I just forgot the name of it though. It's like a horror movie. When we come, it's Christmas. You know what I mean. So, is there anything that you had in the back of your pocket that you were interested in watching? Um, I I really don't have anything in like I, I have nothing. Like, there's I don't think I've seen anything that I'm like, oh, that would be good or scary. Yeah, or, yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if, like uh, of what's really come out in that kind of. So there really hasn't. I know there's the Halloween, but I haven't seen like the last few, so I don't know if that's like something I need to catch up on. Yeah, catch up. Um, the only thing, it's like the Halloween, and then, oh my goodness, there's another one coming up. There's another one. I know you don't want to do the Conjuring, so we won't do that. Like <laughs> you can, you know, you let me know. Actually, there you go. You can watch all sixteen, and no. you tell me how no, I, how good uh, it is. No, actually, I will probably not do that. But we can talk about it later, about maybe next year. Maybe I'll watch it all for next year, you know? There you go, yeah. And then next year, and then next yeah. year. <laughs> uh, that's what. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I can't find it. I don't remember what it was. I had it saved, and I looked up something else, and it's gone now. I can't. I, I didn't, I didn't oh, um, something, something actually on HBO, right? Is yeah, that, I, th- uh, I think it was. Well, no, HBO was Malignant. Um. Well, Dune, I think Dune. Oh, Dune! Oh, there's oh, yeah. So there's the Many Saints of Newark, but I mean, I didn't. I, did you watch all the Sopranos? No, I didn't either. Yeah, so, so it's like I don't know. If yeah, it's like kind of. I, like, it, it, I, it, what sucks, I know the movie. I mean, I know the ending of it because I, because everybody talked about how much I hated it. Which makes, <laughs> makes, makes <laughs> so you already know the ending. So I know the ending of it. That's why I didn't finish it because, oh, yeah, because what, it's, what? it's like it's like oh the many oh the Sopranos oh, the Sopranos yep, yeah, 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 yeah 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 so um. Cry Macho with uh, Clint Eastwood. I don't really know about that. Um, I thought there was something else other than Dune, but uh, I don't think so. What What is um, I mean, your boy Jake Gyllenhaal in The Guilty? Oh, that's a new Netflix one, yeah, right? A new Netflix one, yeah. I don't know if I can handle another nitpicking of Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Man. Uh, don't get mad. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, Man, I, I can't. I don't I have no idea. I mean, The Guilty looks pretty good. I knew that one was coming, but I, I didn't know. If, I don't think it was a horror film. That's why it wasn't. No, yeah, it's not a horror film. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, if, if, man, that makes me mad. I know, because I'm like, I guess like this is like prime time. But, man, like I feel like nobody's even talking about horror movies. Yeah. I still am like. Malignant wasn't a horror movie, well, so I yeah. feel like we still well, haven't even watched one at all. Um, have you ever watched? Uh, yeah, I can't find it, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember what streaming service was on. Um, it sucks. 
Yeah, like there's got to be one that we haven't seen that's popular that we would like to see. One you can't, you don't have to watch seventeen other ones. You know, yeah, well, I mean? yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think about it. All right. So next week, it'll be a surprise movie. Yeah. All right. Could be horror. Might not be. Might not be. Who knows? Hmm. All right. Well, what what else you got? You got anything else? No. I don't think so, man. We talked about the weekend. Talked about school games. Watch it. Want to yell it? Just yeah, I was going to know. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah, other than that. I think, yeah, I don't think I have anything else that I really, busy, it was a busy week, you know, you know, prepping for camping. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm like kind of like bummed I can't think of anything to to watch. To watch, no. yeah. What makes me mad that I can't remember the movie that I literally saved today while sitting on my couch. That makes me frustrated as well. Uh, October 17th, which is not that close, but... um. Six days away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Succession, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Season three, baby. Also, I got to go, go back. I'm pretty sure that I, I watched the preview for it. I definitely remember. I, th- I think I definitely started at least. I think I finished the first season, but I, I think I, I don't. I don't really don't think I watched the second one, actually. The more the more I think about it, I'm going to go back and actually like. I'm going to just watch season one, episode one, and to see if I've oh, actually. To, to Just to make sure I didn't see it, but I definitely watched some of it, but I don't I know am. why. Shout out to uh, our friend Jared because he started watching The Leftovers. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, good, good. Suck him in on that one. Get get Infect everybody yes. with that I'm one. Surprised it's taken, it has, I'm surprised it's taken this long. I know. To well, it took you. us a long time. Well, you know? yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No. Um, I, I really want Euphoria to come out with a second season. I wonder. I wonder when that's coming out. Yeah, I'm excited about Succession, and I'm waiting on Ozark too. You know. Oh yeah, you were yeah. So that's going to be in two separate parts. Oh, is it? Yeah, season okay. the, season four will be the last season just in two two parts. Okay. Yeah, you know Walking you got to string that along. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Where right? yep, yep, yep. But uh, I'm good on that. I don't care. Yeah, well, me either. Yeah, I, mean, I just happened to see it. Right, I, I saw it on yeah, like a, yeah, a Yahoo yeah. thing. I'm like, of course. Yep. When I found out that uh, Fast and the Furious, they're doing 11 movies. No, th- Their 10th movie, they're splitting into two. I'm like, that's incredible, man. Why, why is everybody copying uh, Marvel, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Well, see, like, yeah, I don't know. It's like the ultimate money grab, you know? Yeah, it's Because you have to. You have to finish well, it. Well, I watched the uh, part one, so I guess I got to watch yeah. part two. Well, that's how it got you. Oh, and uh, you know what else, dude? So, you know, we talk about Narcos a lot. We, yeah. we Jessica and I were hooked on Narcos sure. for a while. Narcos and the Narcos Mexico. Yeah. And uh, when Narcos Mexico ended, like, we, I mean, it ended a while ago. We were like, oh, definitely done, you know? So we're like, two seasons is all we get. Season three, baby, is oh, coming out. I'm like, nice. I'm like, out of nowhere. Like, yeah, what, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. I literally thought that it was, like, kind of wrapped up and done. So I'm like kind of blown away. I'm like I, I'm excited. I'm like I need more narcos in my <laughs> life, man. Yeah. One of the uh, the bad guys in the Suicide Squad is uh, a main character in Narcos Mexico, and he was one of our favorite uh, favorite characters. Mm. Um, yeah. I know. I just blabbed on. We were trying to end it, and then I'm like, "Whoa, I'm not ready." Yeah. It's TV it's shows. Okay. It's all right, man. And movies. And uh, I didn't have all that on my brain like you did. Yeah, right. yeah. You know? I got I got a dump real quick. Yeah. Not poop. No. But. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> got a test. Yeah. Got to do a squeeze test. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll let these people go. Then, yeah. Huh? These people have a great week. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See ya.